Hey everyone, this is Daniel from Phone Arena with the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 10.1 hands-on. This is still an on final unit, but we're pretty excited to explore it since uh, that's the first uh, Intel Atom-based Android slate uh, from Samsung. This is still an on final unit, uh, as we said, uh, though you can't really tell from the chassis build. It is very light at 510 grams and uh, thin at sub uh, 8 millimeters thickness. Plus it is compact and feels quite sturdy. Though a 10 incher is uh, supposed to be held in landscape mode, here the side bezel is thinner than the top where the Samsung logo is or the bottom, which houses the physical uh, home key and the capacitive navigational keys. These touch keys can be inadvertently pressed when you are holding the tablet like that in uh, portrait mode. So the tablet has a sensor to turn them off if you wish so in this mode. It's the portrait keyboard. The screen itself at uh, 1280 by 800 pixels is uh, nothing uh, to write home about. Pretty basic for today's tablet standards at uh, 145 ppi pixel density, which indicates that Samsung is not throwing the kitchen sink uh, in its first experiment with uh, Android and Intel. It displays decent colors and good wing angles. And also, the only gripe uh, we have about it is the comparatively low resolution. Well, it depends on the price. If this thing uh, lands at rock bottom prices, then all our complaining bets are off. We've got uh, touch with Nature UX on the tablet with uh, some of the gestures and uh, eye tracking features that we have uh, in the flagship Samsung Galaxy S4, like smart screen, for example, but not all of them. Of course, the big story about the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 10.1 is that uh, Android here is powered by an Intel processor, not the usual ARM clone. It's a 1.6 GHz dual core Atom with the Clover Trail architecture and uh, wide gig 1 GB of RAM. We get uh, this uh, 3 megapixel camera on the back plus uh, a 1.3 megapixel front shooter, also 16 or 32 GB uh, of storage and a micro SD slot eventually a micro sim slot if you buy the version with cellular connectivity since the big story here is the intel processor we ran quadrant on the tablet uh, despite its non-final nature of our unit and the result of uh, over between five and six thousand points uh, were pretty middle of the road but uh, we'll pass a final verdict uh, when we get a retail unit for review for now, it seems uh, like a decent thin and light Android tablet and uh, doesn't feel underpowered in the interface or while running apps. This was a hands-on of the Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 10.1 from Phone Arena. For more information about this and other tablets, you can visit us at phonearena.com.